Does your laptop run like trash? That was advertised like a fucking space station? That's annoying. Hi, I'm Kappa, and this is the one trick to getting your laptop running as it should. Buy a desktop. No, I'm kidding, wait. I'm gonna show you the full optimization, everything, to make it run as it should. Let's start with the first thing. Every program will be listed in the description and you can install it directly from the official website. The first app or program is Quick CPU. This is an essential app to getting your laptop running as it should. By default, these will be at around 50% at least in my case and just take all the sliders and max them out it's kind of like cpu overclocking but not really the manufacturer limits the boost clock of your laptop and this is the way to bring it up to the listed speeds so just put it at a hundred percent and click apply there we go now you can close that program and move on then you have MSI Afterburner. This will allow you to overclock your graphics card to get like about a 20% boost in performance, maybe. Hopefully. So I can hit a comfortable 175 megahertz overclock on my core and another 750 megahertz overclock on my memory. So, now that you get that, you click apply, you save it to 1 and make sure you have this enabled which will cause it to apply the overclock when the laptop starts up. Now lock it and you can close the program. Then we have XTU or Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. So this might look overwhelming but it's, it's pretty simple. What you want to touch is this thing. This is the core voltage offset and you want to, if you want to start and you don't know how to do this at all, you just apply like a minus 0.8 volts, then you run like a, this stress test and you see if your PC crashes. If it's fine, you can go up and up and up and I can go to a comfortable minus I think it's 120 millivolts or something like that and that causes your CPU to get less power and it uses less battery and it won't overheat it won't overheat anymore so yeah and then you also have the turbo boost power limit and if you see this over here if you see power limit throttling and you're like what to do now I'm, I'm not like actually thermal throttling, but uh, I'm throttling in this thingy. Then you go over here and just like my default is 45 watts and just move it to 47. And also by one watt in the turbo. Then you can go and close this, go to the task manager and find perf, where is it? PPP. Perf tune and just close it. Then you're done with this. Now we're moving on to C Cleaner. This will make sure that you have sufficient disk space and you don't have any junk on your PC. Just select everything like I did and applications and then click Run Cleaner. And just wait. Voila. Then you got Registry Editor or Registry Cleaner. Just scan for issues, boom, there we go, no issues found. Then you can go here to the uninstaller and uninstall all the unnecessary stuff that Windows preloads you with. And, and now we can move to startup programs and just remove everything that you don't need. You can see I only have Discord and Intel stuff. You can also disable scheduled tasks, what is this? Uh, you can just remove a bunch of these. I don't need Adobe. I can just disable it like this. And now we can close up CCleaner. 
then what you want to type is disk just click select the C disk and click OK now clean system files I think it says then OK again wait for it to find the files if you see um, like your previous update or something like that select it because I think it takes up about 30 gigabytes of your space and you really don't need it so just select it and click OK and that will delete your like back off of the previous update I think now just wait for it to be done and now you can go here and type system config open this up make sure your boot timeout is three seconds then in advanced option make sure you have the max number of processors selected and that you have this unchecked then click ok and you can go to your services hide all microsoft services and you can untick the stuff you don't need and don't restart because i'm still recording hey it's editing me here a quick tip that i forgot press the windows key plus r to open the run window then put this sign and then temp and this sign again click run select everything delete as much of the files as you can skip the ones that you can't and empty your trash bin so your pc can run smoothly back to you me if you play competitive shooters you want to also load down this and every time before you start cs or something else click maximum and just minimize it let it run in the background as you're playing the game and you're gonna get lower latencies and then we got cru and you wanna just open this up and now uh, select the monitor you're currently using you can see these are my default settings for the monitor and then just click add select leave everything like this and just go to your refresh rate and then set a higher refresh rate that you currently have if you have a 60 hertz monitor you can try going first for like a 65 hertz and then if your monitor is capable of pushing out more you can go up to even 75 I can go like to 149 on my 144 Hz monitor I already have it after you dial that in just close it reboot your PC and go to display settings go to additional settings then uh, select your monitor and then select this click on the monitor and you can see I can go from 144 Hertz to 149 Hertz okay and now some additional tips for the people that want the last bit of performance you can google removing unnecessary Windows 10 files and then just run the script that you find on the internet on github and just remove all Windows programs that you don't need um, you should also probably remove Chrome if you're doing that because it uses a lot of background stuff and just install something like Firefox which is a lot better and lighter for your PC then you got also stuff running in the background you can check which programs are running and uninstall them so now that we optimized everything I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to see you next time on a bit Please comment, my channel is dying, I'm glad I saw you, bye bye.